Okay, it's Friday, which is grocery shopping day. I'm going to show you my Costco haul and my Trader Joe's haul. The way I shop is based on my meal planning. So every other week I like to stock up on meat at Costco and then next week I'll base my meals off of our leftovers that we have in the fridge and whatever we have stocked in there. It is a great way to shop at Costco and not break the bank because I can't get every little thing at Costco because by the time you get everything it's like $10 per item. So I have been doing like whole things like waters, eggs, milk, um, things that would go through super fast and neat at Costco and then I get everything else, all the little stuff at Trader Joe's. First thing from Costco is sockeye salmon and then we got a bunch of chicken thighs. I'm going to show you how I portion these out and marinate them ahead of time to create a bunch of meals. If you haven't tried this tilapia, you need to get it next time. A2 milk. Claire still drinks milk in a bottle, so we got through this pretty fast. This ended up being a flop. Grab the Kirkland brand with pepperoni. And the organic purple berry blend for smoothies, for breakfast, and sometimes even for lunch. And then, of course, a rotisserie chicken for $4.99 <laughs> because it's just good, easy lunches. This is just another easy meal. We're gonna do Caesar salad with these, and I'm also gonna add this to a Cobb salad to add some extra protein for one of our dinners. Next is the Trader Joe's stuff. This is kind of like the smaller stuff, the produce, the stuff that I didn't want to buy in giant amounts, or that I know is cheaper at Trader Joe's. These greens, I completely butchered the name, so we're just gonna call them greens. And bananas, I'm gonna put half of these in the freezer for smoothies, and then the other half will stay out for snacking. Okay, then cilantro for some mango salsa that we're putting on top of grilled chicken, I believe. I will also share our meal plan for the week in case you need some meal ideas. Parmesan cheese, blackberries for snacking, a big pack of blueberries. A mango for that mango salsa. Frozen mango for smoothies, some organic free range eggs. Pre-cooked bacon, a red bell pepper for that mango salsa, mild salsa for taco salad, coconut oil to make some homemade snacks, a melon for snacking, romaine lettuce, and clementine oranges to snack on. This is my favorite Greek yogurt. It's sweetened with honey, vanilla ice cream for a sweet treat, avocados, apples, orange juice, tomatoes for tomato toast or salads, just a restock on butter, and sparkling water. Now I'm gonna throw my apron on and start separating the meat that I bought in bulk and I will pre-season some of it. These chicken thighs I ended up just leaving unseasoned. Since they're pre-packaged, I'll just end up marinating them in the morning on the day I'm going to cook them. I put a few in the fridge and a few in the freezer. Next up is the salmon. I wanted to pre-portion it so I can season it a few different ways and then so I can freeze some of it and save some for this week. I ended up being able to portion it out into three different meals for our family of four. Thank you so much for watching and I'll leave our meal plan in the description in case you need some inspiration for the meals you're cooking this week. Time to leave you off with a homemaking quote. Keeping a home requires time, energy, and creativity, but it also calls for skills and experience. Keeping a home is an art and takes lots of talent and practice. If you enjoy videos like this, I'd really appreciate if you considered sticking around.